Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on Route 222, I believe, right before Sunny Shore City Battle, all the trainers. And we made it to Sunny Shore City and we got the. We ran into Flint, who is a member of the Wheat Four. And he told us to uh, give Falconer, who is the last gym leader of Sinnoh, the, the gym leader of this. of Sunny Shore, basically. Uh, it battles so hot, it'll, re it'll regenerate his passion for battle. So that's what we're gonna do. I have. Uh, Drag up front. Let's talk to the vice giver first of all. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Let me check out your trainer case and let's see how many badges you have. One, two, three. Whoa, wow, you already got seven. That means you, if, if you beat this gym leader, you're on your way to the Pokemon League. Next. Uh, that also means this is the last time I'll can, I get to give you advice. This is it, kiddo. Listen carefully one last time. The gym leader here is the master of electric type Pokemon. That's all. I have to say, the rest is up to you, haha. <laughs> okay. So this gym puzzle is a lot easier than Snowpoint City's gym puzzle, honestly. Cause you, you really just, you kinda solve the puzzle as you go on. So just hit that blue switch, or green switch I mean. Then we hit the screen switch and then we can battle our first trainer. So I'm gonna battle all the trainers in this gym just for experience, just to get the experience. So that's good, I guess. Uh, yeah, um, can you even make it to the gym order? You sure know how- you, sh you sure- you sure now? Yes, I'm very sure. That, um, trainer had a Pachirisu, and it used Super Fang, which means a guaranteed it'll do half of um, the remainder the remainder of their HP. So it did exactly half of my max HP for Drago, which kind of stinks. So I'm gonna have to heal up just to be careful, you know. Um, actually, I'm gonna heal up using a lot of potions because I have 14 potions for crying out loud. I can just use that. Was, that'll work out great. So I just gotta use the, like three of these, I think. Yeah, use two of them. There we go. Works out great. Okay, on to the next room. Um, I think you just hit this switch right here, the blue switch, hit it again, again, and there we go. Then the path is actually, the gears actually are flat so you can actually run on them or walk on them. Let's take on this, um, super nerd I guess. I think he's a, no he's a school kid I think. Um, this is of Jim and Sino. That's why I'm here to learn the best battle techniques around. Yeah, that trainer was a school kid, and I'm really glad that uh, I was really lucky to actually be able to still hit the Mr. Mime with the Dragon Claw and the Slash because I kept on using Flash and lowering down Drago's uh, defense, or not defense, but accuracy. So I was pretty lucky to land those hits when I did, you know? I went to where and I channeled that desire through my guitar. Well, he was a guitarist. Uh, I went to where and uh, that, that desire makes me my Pokemon a star. Okay, but that battle was fairly easy. Let's take on this poker fan. Uh, dressed up as a Pikachu, I guess. <laughs> look at the way I'm dressed. Can, can't you see that I'm hardcore? Sure, why not? Okay, so Rose having the ability uh, Nature Cure, Natural Cure after that battle, um, the status problem was actually uh, after upon switching out or at the end of a battle, it uh, it, was, it uh, recovers its uh, it cures its um, status problems like paralyzation because like it, if you saw that last battle, Rose got paralyzed by the last Pikachu because of Static, the ability the Pikachu had which is Static, so that was really nice um, to have I guess. 
I'll put Rose to the front, I guess. Half my team are level 44, half my team is level 43. So let's go into the next room. This will be the final room of the gym, but it's a big one, so... Yeah, let's talk to this guitarist. Whether you're a trainer or, an, or a guitarist, it takes dedication to improve your mad skills. Okay, so yeah, to, I guess we have to hit, yeah hit this red switch first. You don't want really to go up the stairs because the gears up there aren't flat, as you see right there on the right part of your screen. Yeah, so just hit that red switch once, hit this red switch once, and then you can go down here and let's take on this Ace Trainer. I think she might have a red shoe, because I think that's what she has, but I could be wrong. It's not just looking for tough trainers to battle. It's it's I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. That right shoe gave me more trouble than I thought it would give me, you know, honestly. Let's get, let's use a forest storm bronze. And let's use, um, I guess our last movement book on Rose then. Or I could use two super potions. I use two super potions instead. I need to go back to the milk cafe and get some more movement milk, because that's, that heals again 100 HP of a single Pokemon. And it's really good actually, so I might have to go to the milk, yeah, I'm gonna go to the cafe again. Uh, north of Celestian Town and probably buy some more off screen or something. Hopefully I remember to do that, because I've been meaning to do that for a couple points now. But whatever. <laughs> um, I'll keep Rose up front I guess. Rose is really close to level 44 and I wanted, I want her to level up. So yeah, let's take on this guitar, a spark. That's what our gym leader did to the gym out of boredom. Okay, so in the last battle, Rose gave level 44, so that's pretty cool. Let's go to Jetta up front. I'm kind of worried because like there's Archetype Pokemon, but I think Jetta can handle it, I guess, for, at least for now. I'll switch out. Um, I'll switch her out if it gets like to, in a sticky situation or whatever. So we're gonna hit this blue switch right here and hit those hit that green switch back there a couple times, like I just did. I forgot this. I forgot to commentate that. <laughs> Here's another Ace Trainer. Wow, I'm surprised you come this far, but you'll have to turn back. That isn't. There isn't any choice that there isn't any chance that you could ever beat me. We'll see about that. Wow, I didn't even know that that Ace Turn had a Steelix. So to complete the puzzle, all you have to do is hit this red switch right here. Because if you look um, up here, that um, this path, there's not a path to get to Faulkner, which is over there. Which he's over there. So what you want to do is come down here and hit this red switch once. Only one time or you might mess up the puzzle. Yeah, so just once. And then if you go back up here magically, he's um, there's a path that will lead to him. So it's just important to get that last, go back and get that last switch. The puzzle can be very uh, tricky at first, but I I know how to do this puzzle a lot. I've done this puzzle a lot in the past. I just seem to remember it better than like the Snowboard City Gym puzzle, so that's I guess how I, how I remembered it. Um, I'm going to start with Drago. I don't need to go back and heal. I don't think my Pokemon are good HP-wise. PP-wise, they're still doing good. So let's take on uh, Falconer, the last uh, gym leader of Sinnoh, user of Archetype Pokemon. Talk to him. All right, challenger. It's not often, but many trainers, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. But they all have been bo been boring, 
They all have been boring battles. I don't break a sweat beating them. Sai, I am Falk I'm Falconer, the gym leader. They say I am I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but anyways, I best I I guess we'd better get this get this done. I hope you're the trainer though who will make me remember how fun it is to battle. You got it, Falconer, that's my job. Okay. Falconer hey. Let's take you on. He has four Pokemon, we have six, okay. Cool. Okay, he starts off with Raichu level 46, okay. So, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. I'm gonna go for a Brick Break, okay. So, at least do half on Drago, I'm guessing. Because his team, okay, wow, not even half, okay. I should have more faith in myself. Jeez. Let's just do this again. Uh, let's just see if we can hit him with Earthquake. Um, yeah, there we go. And one hit KO, nice. So there goes Raichu. I think he's gonna send us Octillery next because it has a type advantage on. Well, not really type advantage, but he might have Ice Beam or something, but I doubt it. Maybe, I don't know. So, well, Octillery, we'll switch Pokemon. Yes, we'll go to Rose. Now, Octillery is water type Pokemon, obviously. It evolves from Remoraid, which I don't know. Well, Remoraid evolves into Octillery, so a fish evolves into an octopus kind of thing. It's kind of weird, but. You know, since there's very few electric type Pokemon in Sinnoh, he ha he has like an Ambipom, and uh, the Volpham of Apom, and an Octillery, and he has also his luck. He has also has his Luxray too, which we'll see later on in the battle, hopefully. So I'm gonna need for the the Giga Drain. It'll, I'm hoping I'll just do half, but I do have the type advantage right here, so I might do more. Yeah, I'll do more. Okay, so he's gonna probably heal. So yeah. He's gonna go for the bolt seed, okay. Uh, he's probably gonna use a hyper potion, but I'll just hit him hard with another Giga Drain. So, it's okay. Um, bolt seed's still hitting us three times now. It's, it's gonna hit three times, right? Yeah, okay. It's not very effective though. It's, it's like quad resistant. Yeah, yeah, I think Rose quad resistant because it's Rose is grass and poison type, so they should quad resist it, I guess, because grass isn't effective against grass. So, yeah, let's go for the Giga Drain. Yeah, it's gonna go for the Hyper Potion, I knew it. But at least now we can hit him hard with another Giga Drain. Maybe I can get a cool look ahead this time, we'll see. Let's see how much this does. It probably is gonna do the same amount regardless. Oh, yeah, a little bit more, but yeah. I'd rather him using his healing items right now. I wanna and Rose restored all the remainder of her HP. For the shadow ball, it hits. Okay, cool. I'm really glad I turned to, to, uh, to hard um Rose shadow ball because it really helped in that school kid battle with the um with the cadaver or whatever or whatever trainer had the cadavers or a cadaver in this gym. Yeah, Ambipom. Okay, so we'll switch to another Pokemon. Let's we'll switch to Inferno. Yeah, Inferno's just got close combat this thing. Sambi Pond's like level 46, right? Somewhere in there. Level 47, okay. Let's go for the close combat. This should one hit kill it, but you never know. It's two levels higher than Inferno, so I shouldn't speak too soon. And there we go. Knocks it out, though. Cool. Yeah, Inferno. Its defense and special defense got lowered a bit, but I'm gonna switch out anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it's stats will be restored if I do need them in the future for the rest of this battle. Here's what looks right. His main Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go back to Drago and just try to Earthquake it. It probably won't take more than just, it'll probably take a little bit more than just one Earthquake to faint it. Maybe a different combination of moves, but this thing's like level 49. <laughs> Maybe even level 50, I can't even remember. This one's, yeah, level 49. Here it comes, get ready for my trump card. Okay, let's go for the earthquake. And I'm faster than it for some reason. I don't know how I'm faster. Oh, Drago's faster than it. Jeez. Um, we can hope that this faints it, but I don't think it will. Yeah, okay. And it has its citrus berry. Okay. That's all good with me. I can just use another earthquake then. Let's see, Luxray is gonna do crunch though. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Okay, now if I'm faster than it, it's, we win. Okay, cool. And it hits awesome with quick hits. So this should faint the um, Luxray. 
And it goes down. Awesome. Two thousand thirty-seven experience points. That's a lot of experience points. Jeez, you just beat me. You just beat me. Or I don't know. Your desire and noble way. I I never felt thrilled during our. This is a very good battle. That's all I could read, really. Thanks for five thousand eight hundred eighty pocket dollars, though. Hee hee ha! That was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't even know when. It's almost. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your 8th gym badge. You've earned this. You get the beacon badge from Faulkner. The beacon badge lets you use the hidden move waterfall even when you're not in battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you go into the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 gym badges, 8 badges, any Pokemon at any level will be you without fail. I want you to have this too. TM57 Charge Beam, which I'm kind of considering maybe teaching to Bronze, but I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll think about it later, I guess, when we go back to when get to our TMs and select them and all that. When we can actually use our bag or access our bag. What's inside that TM57 is some of Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's pretty hot. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna make our way out uh, to the front of the gym and talk to the vice skipper one more time and check out the statue for this gym one more time. See, uh, see our name on the certified trainers list, along with Sam's probably, because Sam just always happens to be at the gym right before us, so or before us, you know? But that's okay, it's really easy to get out. All you have to do is like, move around some, press some switches and move around, and then uh, you should be out, you, you should be out on your way. And it's really easy to get to the back to the front of the gym again. Oh, Steven, did you beat the gym leader? Well, of course you did. Well, uh, <laughs> sorry I misread that. But you know what? You haven't made it in my mind yet. Um, do you know why? Because you and your Pokemon are capable of achieving so much more. But I am proud of you. Uh, itching badges. Way to go, kiddo. Thank you, advice giver. 74 shitty Pokemon gym. Leader Volkner. 75 trainer Steven. Oh, I even beat the gym before Sam. It just says Steven. Awesome. It's a happy day. Okay, so let me see about that TM now. Because I am thinking about teaching Charge Beam to, um, you know, Bronze, because he's the only one who can learn it. And it's, my, it's gonna be actually my first Ultra type move I can actually have on my team. But I don't know if I want to teach it or not. I wish I should be forgotten. Um, try a ball. Wait, hold on. Let me see here. Um, the user tackles the foe with high speed spinner. The slower the user, the greater the damage. Oh yeah, can, as you can see, uh, well I can't see here, but bronze is pretty slow. And then payback is really good because it automatically doubles to 100, pow 100 base power. Because it always it's slower than the other Pokemon. Extra sensory is still good too. Uh, I'm going to skip out on teaching charge beam. I don't think I really need it. So I'm just gonna skip out on it. I don't need Ultra Type Pokemon. I've uh, Ultra Type move at least. Um, I've gone through the whole game without really ha needing an Ultra Type or really wanting one so bad. Or I've I've just been I've been you know good. I don't need an Ultra Type move right now. Of course not. Especially since it's the end of the game. I know how. I know what I'm. What what my power is with my Pokemon and all that. So I'm gonna uh, heal up. Okay. So let me rearrange my Pokemon. I didn't mean to go back to my bag, sorry. Um, yeah, so... I guess I can move Bronze up to the front. And then Drago and Jetta can switch places too. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, let's continue on with the story. Um, although I'm gonna cut the part, end the part soon, but I just wanna do this one last part. Here is Jasmine. Well, spoiler alert, sorry. I'll probably spoil over text over way. Um, if you guys didn't know. Um, er, um, my, my name is Jasmine. I'm a gym, I'm a gym leader. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this town. I'm the gym leader of, of in the Johto region. Uh, er, um, it, it would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, well, that's this town's gym badge. You must be very good. Or, er, um, please take this. I think that's what the last part of dialogue was. Which is HMO7 Waterfall. That's a hidden, machi hidden machine. It contains a waterfall. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon League. Oh, um, um, I, I don't know how to say this but good luck thanks jasmine so i'm gonna teach that to um you know i'm gonna teach that to jetta right now because jetta's final move set will be well we'll see that about that in a second but let me teach uh waterfall to jetta first 
Which one should be forgotten? Yes, okay. What move? Um, let's get rid of Water Pulse. Yeah, we don't need Water Pulse anymore. So, um, Jetta's final move set will be um, Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Boom, and Surf. So, yeah. So, that's very cool. So, yeah, this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guy part. The next part will take on, uh, Whatever water route this is, I think it may have said, but um, maybe it's still in Sunny Shore City. But yeah, whatever this route's called, this little um, water route, it's right before the Pokemon League, or I should say Victory Road. So this has been Janko again. I'm about to thank you again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide. One last thing I forgot to show before we actually end off the part for real is I forgot to show off the badges. So like I think when you get Asian badges, you don't they won't be all rusty and stuff. They'll actually be decently cleaned. But let me make them all shiny for you guys. I mean, yeah, there we go. Gotta make it all shiny. So yeah, these badges are gonna look really cool, shiny. And there you go. Look at all the badges. They're all shiny. We got all badges. That's really cool. And now you can see everyone, the gym leaders, right here you get, you got Rourke, Gardenia, Maylene, Crash Awake, or Wake I should say, because we beat him, we can call him Wake, uh, Fantina, Byron, Candice, and Volkner. And then there's all the gym badges, the coal, the coal badge, the forest badge, the cobble badge, the fen badge, the relic badge, the mine badge, the icicle badge, and the beacon badge that we just got. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. So now, for reals, uh, I should say this, um, this has been the, no, uh, giant, this has been the, this part of Pokemon Diamond, so this has been, so this has been and then in my Pokemon Diamond, we do Walk the Guide part, and next part we'll take on this water route, as I said before, and we're gonna hopefully make it to Victory Road. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again, I would like to thank you again, goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond, we do Walk the Guide.